Hello traders, Mark here from Day Trading Room. Um, in a live trade at the moment, I uh, thought I'd try and capture a bit of tape. Um, short from 12, 12, 3, 12, and a really good day so far. Uh, I'm looking for a push into the close, so I've got my positions in. Um, by the way, I'm not using TradeStation, um, so any more, don't run any of those emails asking about what broker I'm using. It's on my blog. Uh, but let's watch some of the tape now. I think uh, my premise has been that we're going to get a good shove into the close. Um, and so, as I've got short from 12, so I'm, I'm, I've got my stop at uh, plus 10 anyway, so whatever happens now is, is free for me. Um, I, I haven't seen a day, I haven't seen any exhaustion yet on the market. Um, I've got an order, I've got orders for most of it at 73 there uh, to cover, and I'm going to leave a couple. Just to the close, if it doesn't get so, well, premise is this: uh, 73 is the exit for the majority of the position, um, or my stop is going to be, uh, or my stop is at plus 10, so that's so 02. So those are the two things, and then I'm going to leave uh, just a couple left, just to run into the close to see if we just get that absolute uh, panic, uh, and then that'll be either a panic or a plus 10 or a, a, clo a close on the close. <laughs> Right, so we see the filter time and sales on the top right there. That's the S&P 500. I've got the Dow uh, time and sales on the bottom here. It's just I've just shuffled this around for the video. Um, don't mind recording this now live when I'm, I'm positioned accordingly, and uh, uh, whatever happens is is, is great. So uh, yeah, let's just have a look now. We're at the lows, you can just see. Um, happy happy to stay short on this. I just haven't seen an exhaustion yet. I haven't seen that flush. So as I say, I position myself at 73. It's just a, a you know a line in the sand really. I'm just going to see this. Now we can see sellers coming in. Uh, just just no buyers. Just no buyers. Look, there's no hardly any green coming through on the time and sales. Um, and I'm looking over at the uh, S&P 500. A uh, bit of green there, but at the lows and then the green coming through is not lifting the price up. So we've got 28 on the offer now at 91. 2130 few taken, bids taken, and then we just see as the bids get taken, you notice that 50s are coming on the offer, 30s are coming on the offer, and this reasonable size on the Dow is coming on the offer as the bids are taken, uh, they're just not letting the bid pop, so you get really happy to stay short on this at the moment. Look at that streaming red, great, looks great, the time and sales on the filter, uh, filters on the top right, look at the S&P, 15, 14, 7, 5, 14 and a half, just just slapped with hundreds, two hundreds, hundred and seventies. This is just this is this could be the exhaustion we're waiting for. Let's hope so. Um, levels don't mean a thing. Coming to the close, you know we've got 15 minutes to go. Been a downtrend all day. Loads of people trapped in this. Uh, and as to say, the premise is just for this exhaustion move. Haven't seen one all day, and so that's what I'm playing for now. Um, look at that streaming red, streaming red, but in hundreds as well. We're not talking small orders. We're talking hundreds. Uh, that's the S&P 500 again, by the way. So uh, hopefully get filled on this next push if we can get there. Say orders at 73, 76, 75. Just one more shove. Has it got it in it? Oh, that's a little bit of a pop off 75. Okay, two ticks away from being filled. Yep, that's. Uh, uh, that's the way it is sometimes. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I, I, you know, I, if I'd have been filled there, I'd, I'd probably be looking to short a little pullback here because it just looks so weak. It's just come off so so much from that from that move up. Um, a lot of people trapped, as I say. Um, so I'm, I'm going to leave it there at 73. It's you know may have a little bit more on it. Maybe I won't get it. Um, but I'll see if it, if it pops up much from here, another 10, then I might I'll move my stop order down, I won't give back all that um, all that, but I, I think I'll get my 73, I think I'll get my 73 and then as I say, um, but you never know anything can happen in the market, and as I say, the, the premise of the trade is for a push into the close, that's the premise, so let's try and run with this for a, for, for a change great day, I'm going to run through my other trades uh, another video um, lots, of, lots of good trades today, really can't complain um, but as I say, this is the, the final trade of the day for me and whatever I can get out of it is, is just bonus money. So we'll see. Tape looks great here. I'll be I'll be I'll be selling this pullback. If I do, if I wasn't sure, I'd be selling this because little pop up it just failed. You can see how it just stalled. Ticks can't even get above zero. Um, you can see that you know that the 
looking at the under uh, the filter time of sales on the top right in the S&P that's just given us the clue we need um, even the greens coming through that but the price isn't pushing up so that's what I call an unexpected response price is not pushing up uh, that price is actually pushing down now it's it, uh, this is you know it looks very weak I mean would we would you bounce side anything 10 or 12 off that low and we're straight down again okay there's me at 73 Not for, yes filled okay great so pleased with that um, very pleased with that um, just just gonna hold a couple now just to see if we just absolutely you know capitulate into the close we're down 286 at the moment um, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen into the close. Uh, aware there could be some short covering, but um, yeah, really pleased with that trade. Uh, 40, not quite 40, is it's a 39 point trade. Uh, yeah, they resisted the urge to scale out of that one. I'll just put that in there. A 73. Uh, and as I say, a lot of the final scale will be. Um, either at plus 10 which is 303 um, let's just get some levels there this is an interesting day this is going to be interesting well I mean today you could just see the, um, the you know the data came out it just wasn't what people expected um, and we'd had all last week consolidating at lows obviously we popped up on Tuesday and now we, we we we've driven right back down to those to those range to that range that we were in on uh, on um, let's just see if it goes to a new low here. Uh, we've we've got 12 minutes to go, so there's room to breathe on this. There is room to breathe, um, but they just haven't they just haven't had any rallies of any of any re, of any uh, any substance. Although we've just seen 87 come on the bid there. I didn't didn't I miss that whether he got filled or not. Uh, So there could be a little bit of a maybe one more shot or lower. It's just holding at the lows. Anyway, where was I? Um, you know, the data came out that it's, it's a bit of a preempt for the un for the unemployment figure on Friday, and that's just weak. And if you just think of yourself in the posi in the situation of all the, uh, you know, if you've been buying all last week, you're nicely up yesterday, and you're seeing the gains go, and it will make sense if that unemployment report on Friday is going to be bad. Then it's going to start taking out lows from last week, and we, we, you know, we're back into fresh territory low on the low side. So anyone who's who's um, just move that around a bit. Anyone who's who's got gains um, is going to look to lock them in, and also they can take some risk off the table. Oh, lots of red coming through the time of sales there, unfiltered hundreds, 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 two hundreds. Um, very systematic selling. Oh, a few tick low there. A few tick low. Twenties coming on the bid. 28 not filled will he move up 20 50 60 on the offer see if that 75 gets filled bit of green on the uh, S&P 2 3 400 a lot of red price not pushing lower on that red a lot of red coming through there 6 7 8 a few thousand price not pushing lower Anyway, say holding it till the close, so whatever happens will be, will be. Um, yeah, so you know, it makes sense for them to take some risk off the table just in case that non-farm data is bad. Um, so I can understand this has just been systematic selling all day. Systematic selling rallies have just been sold. Um, very, very poor rallies, um, and we haven't, as I said, as I said, I repeat myself a little bit here, but we haven't seen um, a good flush lower. This is probably now the best flush we've had actually. Um, I'll probably say that because I'm on it, <laughs> but um, we just have that capitulation, that absolute panic of three, four, five real serious candles. Um, but yeah, down two eighty three on the day, still holding at lows at the moment. You know, we are due some sort of pop. And seventy five is a line in the sand, by the way. You can see on the tape seventy six line in the sand. That breaches, we might get a little lift, lift up. Got nine minutes to go. Some short covering, perhaps. Or panic. Um, 
84 holding on the bid there. Attacked that quite a bit, they did. Didn't get in very far. Let's see if again. Uh, look at that 74. It's holding. So we have a line on the sand there. It's lifted now. Let's see if someone comes back on the bid with that. Nothing much happening. Okay, I think I'm going to turn off the tape now anyway. Um, basically, position is uh, stop at plus 10. So that's uh, 03, 303. And in fact, I'm going to move that down actually to 93. I'm going to block, block in 20 on that. There's no point in giving all that back. I don't want to go back there. Um, or I'm going to come out of the close. So that's the only way it's going to be for me. Uh, just really just try and hold stuff. You know, try and hold on to the premise. A great entry, got a great entry on the pullback. Waited patiently for that. Um, <clears throat> so lots of lots of red coming through there still. Lots of red. Uh, it waited patiently for that pullback. And premise was as I say push into the close. Good good flush into the close, and I'm getting it. So yeah, it's uh, it's worked out well. Anyway, I'm going to run and review the other trades. I might tack this onto this video, or or I don't know how long this is. I think I've been in the trade about. <clears throat> 30 minutes or so and I started a couple of minutes after uh, after I entered so yeah I think I probably do a thousand just gone through on the uh, on the offer there on the S&P in one go 13 12 and a half that's the first time I think I've seen that for a while um, we'll see what happens with that now bit of green coming through here yeah a bit of green look at the ticks popping straight back up so if they can get above zero line of the sand of 76 has gone This is the little bit of strength coming through on the tape. You can just see a little bit more bids holding, you know, they're not lifting it, they're not, they're not pushing and then, then dropping it, the holding, holding firm, stepping up, seeing some buying coming through the tape as well on the S&P after that thousand. Bit of short covering perhaps, how long we've got left? Six minutes. I'm going to leave it at plus. I'm going to leave it at plus ten to stop. I'm not going to meddle with it, messing around with it. Um, so, whatever happens yeah. now, three o three or whatever the close. I don't expect it to go back to three o three, but if it does, it does. You know, it's only a small portion. Look at that buying coming through the tape now. Yeah, fair bit of short covering. Anyway, um, just a bit of just a thought. I'd, I'd capture it as I was, I was positioning the market. I didn't have to meddle around with my. Uh, with my dome or anything like that, I didn't have to mess around. I was all prepared. It was it was it was, it was a free trade, so I thought I'd turn on the recorder and uh, and commentate through the trade. Um, yeah, a bit of strength coming in now. 500 ticks. Look at that green, solid green on those time and sales. Uh, say so stop at 303, <clears throat> but it's only a, it's, a, it's a very small portion of the position. Took the majority out at 73, which wasn't far off off off. Uh, off the low on that, so yeah, really, really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. Okay, guys, hope you had a great day. Uh, I'm going to turn off the recorder now. Nothing much is happening. Um, hopefully, we we'll get a little push down into the close, and I can uh, get a bit of sandwich money. Um, <laughs> but yeah, good trading. I hope you did well today. I hope that you managed your risk above all things. Um, you know, throughout the day, I was looking for a f exhaustion to go long, and I just never saw it because the criteria wasn't met um, and that's how you've got to be, you've got to be like that I um, took some shorts in the, early in the morning and I'll, I'll go through those in another video and um, you know, this short into the close, that's the, that was the, the premise uh, I didn't get a counter trend move um, just just a, just a good solid downtrend day so as always, manage your risk, that's the number one thing